Hey family, I'm at the doctor's office. I'm going to go in here and get my blood drawn and see where my iron's at and if I see if I have to go do another infusion on Friday or not before I probably might, I might have to, I might not. We'll see. But the last one really wasn't that bad. If I do, I had like mild chills and a headache. I just went and laid down and it was great. I, you know, just I couldn't, you know, when you're kind of tired and you can't take any real powerful sermons in and your brain's just kind of tired, that's where I was. I was just like easy listening to sermons in bed. So that was great. Uh, also, I got some mail today, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. I have, what? I, you guys are just the most amazing family. I just, I don't even know what to say. You guys are just amazing. God's amazing. Um, wow. You guys are just, what a blessing. Um, so, I also, but I really wanted to get on here, my arm's tired, my body's tired, um, I wanted to get on here and just, I know some of you are probably feeling a little discouraged or a little sad that we, you know, it's a high watch day, but hey, it's not over yet, you guys, the high watch period is just totally not even over yet, so don't be, don't be discouraged like that, because it's not, it's not over yet, and, um, We just got, you know, it's Jesus. He he went and suffered for us and just created everything for us and has this really this perfect plan. And we can be patient for him. We can. It's Jesus. I mean, come on. It's Jesus, right? So it's just, you know, whenever I try to do things my own way and in my own timing, it never works out right. Nothing falls into place. I mean, things will work out eventually, but they have to be it's like shoving a p puzzle piece into a place that it doesn't go. And nothing goes smoothly. But when when it's done with the Lord, it goes smoothly and everything's done perfectly. And that's what we want. We want his perfect plan and his perfect timing. And that's what we're going to get. That's where we're going to get. So, you know, and it's still, we still should not quit watching by any means. I mean... What are we going to do? Become atheists and just forget about it? I don't think so. I think we're we're in this for life, you guys. There's no way we can quit watching for Jesus. There's just nothing. I mean, he's coming. We know he's coming. He's made promises to come. And our, our faith is in him and not on the date that we think it might be or our guess. Some are really good guesses. Some of them are educated guesses. Some of them you learn an enormous amount of Bible study and... Um, can really take a lot from it. So I don't, I would, I don't suggest not watching, but for dates, if you do, or whatever it is that you do for watching, whether you're more like me and you look at signs, um, of things and prophecy being fulfilled. I look at that kind of stuff. I look at the news, um, or whether you're looking at numbers, whatever it is, we all bring something because people blow me away with their numbers. They're amazing. You guys, there's some really good numbers out there. Some really great timelines. I mean, it really is just fascinating. Um, I never would have known that Enoch went up at Pentecost. How cool is that? I mean, so there's just so much, right? So it's just, we got we to gotta just keep chins up because our faith is in Jesus and not a date. And we're just, the looking at dates, we're just guessing. <laughs> we're just guessing with the best of our human ability because we're so excited. And what else are we going to do, right? Besides get out there and tell people. How exciting it is that Jesus is coming back. And, you know, you can name the prophecies. We have them. We have the prophecies are happening. The, we, I mean, so the date, I mean, the prophecies did the one world order suddenly stop coming? Did pestilence stop and famine stop? No, just the date didn't happen. So we know it's still moving there. And we're still going there. We're getting there. We're just, we don't know how long, but we know that we have each other in the meantime. We have a beautiful family here and a, just a wonderful group of people watching with the Lord, for the Lord. And I just, you guys, are, so let's just give thanks for that and just thanks for just everything that we do have, why we do wait, because we are waiting and it is hard. It is challenging to wait when you want to be gone so bad in the trials of this life, I don't, I don't want to have another eye infusion. I don't want to have surgery. I don't want to have another surgery. Um, I don't want to hook up to my bag every day. It's, you know, it's, I don't want to go sit and, you know, the worst part of doctor's appointments is talking to doctors and waiting rooms. It's so awful. It's awful. I don't want to do it anymore. 
And I'm really, really excited about just everlasting happiness and a perfect body and not waiting for the one crisis to hit after another, right? So, and that's coming. We just got to hold on. This is so temporary. So temporary. All right. So, let's just, just praise the Lord. All right. Oh, Heavenly Father, I love you so very much. I can't believe what you did. This is so great, Lord. Wow, you're just, you just keep blessing me. And you bless me with this channel. And you bless me with this family, Lord. And you bless me with the knowledge that you're coming, Lord. And something to look forward to. Lord, because there's some real pains in this life. But they don't hurt me. Because you protect me from all of them, Lord. And they, I mean, they hurt, may hurt me physically. But they will never hurt me spiritually, Lord. Because you're so good. You watch out for my spirit, Lord, constantly. And if it aches, I just talk to you about it, Lord. And you always heal it. You're so wonderful. You're just so full of healing and light, Lord. And I trust your perfect plan because of your goodness to me now. Why would you stop being good, Lord? You're never going to stop being good. You're so good. You're so wonderful, Lord. And I can't wait to come see you. I just can't wait to just, just wrap my arms around you and tell you thank you for taking care of me. My whole walk on this earth, Lord, that you just watched me from when I was a little baby until the moment we go. And I know that you're never going to leave me because you promised, Lord. You promised you would never leave me. And I know that your promises are good because you've never left me yet. Not once have you ever left me yet, Lord. And you're just so good. And I know, I know I speak for many when I pray this prayer, Lord. I am not praying just for myself, Lord. I know that there are other people praying with me. And they know these things. And they're speaking them to you in their heart, Lord. Because that's what the bride is. We just love you and we're grateful for you. And we are in love with you, Lord. You are the love of our life. You are our everything. Nothing matters to us more than you, Lord. We want to live in a way that's pleasing to you, Lord. And so we, if we have to walk through some fires that refine us, Lord, let us be refined. Shine a flashlight on anything that's dark inside of me, Lord. Don't let anything tarnish my soul before you. Lord, I love you so much, and I just want to be with you every second, and I want to be in your good graces always, and I want to just be as close to you as I can, Lord, and I don't want no sin to put a gap between us, Lord, so I'm just, I love you, and I'm great, I just, Lord, you're my everything, Lord, and I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. All right, you guys, I'm going to go get my blood drawn and go sit in the clinic, and well, I probably won't, because this is a small clinic. I probably won't have the results till later tonight or tomorrow, but as soon as I do, I will post them in the Discord, but I will, I'll make a little update video, um, maybe tomorrow, no promises, uh, or the day after, but I do go to, um, Tacoma on Thursday to go to, for my pre-op appointment, so we have that too, so I have a busy week. All right, you guys, um, I love you, and I'll see you in the next one or in the clouds.